My life is wonderful. However, there's a part of it where I'm doubting faith. And Joel, have you ever doubted your faith? And if so, what was the message that pulled you back? You know, I can't say that I've doubted my faith. Now, from a little boy, I've always been positive and just optimistic, and that's just who I was. But in my difficult times, I've always been drawn closer to God. I feel like some people go away from Him, but in those times, I try to teach people to go to God. So, I don't know. I think, you know, the Scripture says that when you, when you draw not to God, He'll draw not to you. I think faith is, is, you know, you have to turn off your... It sounds funny, but you have to turn off your mind in a sense, and you have to go down here by your heart. Because, you know, it's hard to explain. Do you really, you know, do you really believe in something that you can't see? But I just think you have to, you know, I tell people that are doubting, just ask God. God, just reveal yourself to me in a, in a new way. And I believe when you do that, over time, God will show you himself. But, I mean, you have a heart for God or you wouldn't be here. So I think we all have things come against us. But I think we just have to remember that, uh, you know, that God is in control. You know, it, I'll, I'll tell you an interesting thing. You know, when, when um, Thomas doubted that, that Jesus had risen from the dead, when Jesus arose, the, the one person that Jesus came to, was the first person he came to was Thomas, and Thomas was the doubter. And I think there's a message in the scriptures that, that, that God, God does not turn away from doubters. God goes to the people that have doubts and have worries and things like that, and so I think you just have to stay open. And I don't think there's anything with be, being wrong with, anything wrong with being honest with God and saying, God, I have these doubts. You know, you be open and believe God will answer you.